I think we are live here. I think we are live. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys have a, I hope you guys had a wonderful Father's Day weekend. Uh, I did. And I did some outdoor coffee making yesterday morning with my boys out there. So at the Spino Canyon. That was fantastic. Yeah, that, that was great. By the way, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. And uh, some of you, you think, if you're first time, uh, the reason why I'm looking at this way, okay, because I have my monitor set up here. So uh, just kind of letting you know. So I can see all your questions, the live questions, okay. And uh, if you have any questions about, you know, whatever I'm using, coffee gear, yeah, let me know. Okay, I can, you know, it's a lot easier to interact. Okay, I got, again, big screen so I can see all your questions there. So, uh, it's about almost 2 o'clock, guys. Almost 2 o'clock on Monday. Today is, hold on, today is a, what's the day today? Goodness, times go by so fast lately. Gonna June 19th, guys. Okay, June 19th. All right. And then uh, it's Monday. June is almost over, all right? Yeah, let's see here. So let's brew some coffee. By the way, got a live chat. We got Steve's on, Harry, Al is on, Brent's on as well. We have our, our regulars is on. Uh, by the way, if you, are if you are just watching, okay, just pop in and say hello. Uh, if you're a first timer to the live streaming, so, you know, I can shout out your name for you, okay? You know, I mean, we have a fries. Fries. That's a good name there. We got the uh, yeah, Jay. Jay's, uh, Jay is always here as well. Brew by, uh, Jay is going big time now. Brew by Jay. All right. He has a, his own. Yeah, he has a uh, he has a good following. Okay, on his the things he does. So make sure to check out the Brew's uh, Instagram um, page. Yeah, Jay has a pretty good thing going for him. All right, Jay is doing great. And we have a. Uh, Goodness, we have some uh, MGS. Yeah, we have a lot of regulars. We got Larry's on. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. So, afternoon brew. Okay. So, uh, we're going to do something uh, interesting. Because I haven't quite figured out yet. All right. Because I know what to make. All right. So, we're going to do say coffee. So, I, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm mixed to uh, coffee. Okay, I got uh, 8 grams of Brazil. Uh, coffee from Brazil. And then I got seven grams of uh, coffee from, you know, hold on a second here. This one is from Burundi, okay, I got seven gram here. We have eight grams of uh, cup, so I have a total of 15 grams, all right? I got a total of 15 grams of safe coffee, so I, I, I like to blend things, okay? All right, uh, comes to grinder, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not exactly quite sure what I'm gonna brew, but uh, let's figure something out quick. Again, if you're uh, brand new to the channel, welcome to live stream. I mean, this is what we do, okay? Which kind of like kick back, you know, make some afternoon coffee. You know, sometimes, you know, we talk about coffee gears, right? Uh, I'm gonna be using a new scale from Fellow today as well, okay? So I'm gonna be, uh, uh, I'm gonna be using new scale from Fellow. Uh, I got a, a lot of feedbacks. Uh, on my shirt, shout out to Larry for the super sticker. All right, thank you, Larry. Uh, people think that this is a outrageous, okay, outrageous price. $185, guys. So with uh, paying uh, after tax, you're pushing $200 for a coffee grinder. So I mean, that is uh, outrageously expensive, okay. But the, the fact is, if people are buying coffee gear, all right, uh, some of them are very practical, it makes sense, and some of them are, that's not make any sense why they're so expensive. I mean, uh, Dihar say $200 with a no Bluetooth. You know what? I mean, the comes, okay, so you have to understand about the technology on scale, okay? That comes to technology, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, that cost next to nothing to uh, uh, pretty much put that into scale. It's a scale, it's, pretty, it's all about the quality of the bill, okay? How accurate the coffee uh, scale is. The accuracy matters. You are buying for the accuracy and build quality. All right. I have a $250 Akaya Lunar Scale. Okay. Bluetooth, all built in, latest. Uh, they let you know the, uh, the outflow as well. Okay. 
I do not use any of that function on this scale. Okay, I, I, I just like to weight the coffee dose, all right, and, and also time. That's it. That's all I use for, all right. I do not use any kind of auto tear. I mean, I did in the beginning, okay. In the beginning, I really enjoyed it, all right, auto tear, but if you use, you know, I mean, if you use certain time, you know, if you use after a month or so, if you get feel used to it, you don't need that fancy stuff anymore, okay? All right, I mean, Joey uh, mentioned about the same thing, and Joey uh, said, don't use any of functions. I mean, yes, I mean, at this point on my life, I do not use any of the fancy function on this scale, all right? But I really enjoy the build, the water resistant, and that's the reason why I bought this, okay? I mean, this is the only, you know, and, I mean, there's, there's a couple products that I don't mind paying premium for it, okay? So this scale is one of them, all right? Anyway, so, uh, uh, so we're going to be playing with the fellow uh, Tally scale. Uh, tally scale is, you know what, I'm going to show you again. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty skill to have. All right, so let's, uh, so we got the coffee down. How about, uh, let's see, uh, which brewing device? All right, I need to pick out the brewing device here. Let's see here. What do you guys want to see it? All right, let's uh, take a little poll here. All right. Uh, which device? Uh, so let me pick the any suggestions for the brewing device this afternoon. I'm going to see whoever. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dark Magic asked about a timer. A timer scale is a uh, pre cool as well. Aeropress, Aurea. Aurea. Yeah, let's go to Aurea. Okay. Let's go to Aurea. Aeropress. How you switch? Uh, I do not have a how you switch yet, but I do have Aurea. So let's do Aurea. Okay. Let's do something easy. All right. Let's do Aurea. Uh, how about Stack X? Uh, we did the Stack X yesterday. All right. Let, let's go to Aurea V3. And then how about Grinder? Uh, Grinder Niche Duo. What else? I need some other suggestions. So we've got the coffee, we've got the brewer, and then grinder wise. Uh, what kind of grinder you guys want to see? SK, Steve say SK40. I think DF80, uh, duo, duo, a lot of duos. Okay. The easy presser, Fry say easy press. The problem with the duo, I, I need to swap up the uh, birds. Okay, but we have a lot of duos there. All right, and uh, Dylan say DF. Uh, uh, hand grinder, you know what? No, that's too tiring. SK40, I got two SK duo. Man, a lot of duos now. Okay, DF, oh, Ali say duo. Oh, we got one, two, three DF. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Yeah, let's go to DF, all right? Let's go to the F83, uh, H Ubers. Okay, let's do that. So we got the DF83, H U. Okay, and then, okay, uh, Dylan says SK40, but I mean, Dylan is uh, biased anyway, so I'm not gonna take his. All right, comes the grinder size. All right, hold on. Man, look at the size of the DF though. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move it first. Okay, I'm gonna move the DF here. Now, uh, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to the live streaming. Goodness, this thing is heavy. All right, this is no joke. All right, so. Grinder size. Right now, so this set at, at Espresso right now. So I'm at number about number 40 click, uh, 40 clicks on DF right now. Goodness, so uh, I have to go. Let's double that. Let's go 80. Okay. Uh, even 85. So I'm going to go double the size. Why not? Okay, let's go double. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure. 
I mean, it comes to noise factor, it's not that bad. It's pretty quiet, if you ask me. All right. Uh, check out the speed. Okay. Check out the speed. Quick RDT. All right. That's it, pretty quick. Comes the grinder setting. I wonder if it might be too fine. We'll see. All right. Okay, and then let's talk about the paper. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my just uh, flat bottom paper here. Okay, I'm just going to use my flat bottom paper, put that one in, okay, and I'm going to be using my uh, negotiator. Uh, some people actually wet the paper first, right? Some people actually wet the paper first if you want. So we're going to do that. And I like to just smash it, okay, a little bit, just like so, okay. So I'm not, I'm not too, okay, watch this. I'm not just uh, smashed to the side of the wall, kind of like halfway, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like hybrid, all right? Kind of like hybrid there. So again, so you, you are going to have just enough space between from the wall, okay? So I feel like this method a little bit better, okay? You know, I'm going to flip the camera, guys. Hold on. So you guys can see what I'm doing here better. Okay. Turn on the scale. I'm going to be doing the brute assist mode. So I'm going to be doing 1 to 15 ratio. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can see the 1 to 15 on it. I got some glare there. There we go. Hopefully, no glare. All right. I'm just going to put the coffee grinds right in the middle. I got 15 in. So I got 1 to 15 ratio. Here, let me show you guys close up. I got 1 to 15. I got 15 gram in. Uh, 226 grams of water I'm going to be adding. Okay. I'm going to press that button right there. And then once I start uh, add the water, and you are going to see. Oh, you, you already did. You cannot have any movements. All right. I'm going to start with the 50 grams of water. Time is ticking, as you can see. That's all pretty much kind of like auto star. Uh, whenever you sense a little movement, start brewing it. I think this is great for like cafe, if you ask me. Just gonna go second pull here. Nice and easy. All the way up to 100. Again, if you are just joining us, we are making coffee with. Uh, Oria V3, and we just used the DF83. Uh, DF83 has a SSP burrs in it, all right. Okay, I'm just going to go clean up the side, go up to 200. Yeah, let's go stop at 190. Okay, so uh, I want you to watch the middle section there, okay? Once you close the 226 gram, so I'm going to do the final pour here. I'm just going to clean, uh, clean the side, clean the side here. Put a nice center pull. You're going to change the color right there. Okay. 
you see that right on the middle turn to white so it kind of like let you know your uh, your water is you put the desirable water because I mean think about it uh, once you at the coffee shop because you cannot just looking at the time or how many grams going in but that's indicate that you know just pops that's you know you know when to stop so I mean this function I really appreciate I mean they're I mean they're very uh, very clever okay very clever design there okay let's go back to the regular okay here we go uh, comes to brew time anywhere between like 2.30 and like 3 minute mark okay I mean that's for me I mean that's my favorite you know, favorite brewing uh, time so right now we're at 2 minutes and 50 seconds right now yeah I mean I mean coffee is almost done so I mean so this is considered a pretty good brew okay it comes to time wise all right time wise so here's what I did so I used uh, uh, 7 grams of uh, Brazil 7 or 8 and I uh, use a brandy for another uh, 8 grams, so a total of 15 grams. I blend it. Okay, I grind in the uh, DF83 coffee grinder. Yeah, so coffee is almost done. Okay. All right, hold on a second here. Okay, the coffee is almost done here. Stop the time. Yeah, about three minutes and 40 seconds. All right, let's give it a try. Again, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, Jury's asking me, how do you compare the taste? So this is the SSP, the HU, all right, the 83 mil, and then versus the uh, 64 cast uh, lap sweet. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that's kind of like it's not a lap sweet bird, but they are uh, the lap sweet version of SSP. Okay, the cast birds. Yeah. I don't know. I have to revisit that next time. It's been a while. It's been a while. I play with the grinder. So here we go. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Happy Monday. All right. Uh, again, if you are just joining us for the first time, let me know. Okay, let me know, and then uh, uh, I can shout out your name. All right, hold on a second. Uh, we have some. Uh, okay, we got some new people. Okay, we have a Nim Nimrod. Okay, Nim. Here we go. Cheers. It's clean. Okay, bright. Uh, definitely uh, tastes like red tea. If you guys are looking for something classic, yeah, uh, classic coffee. You're not gonna find, you're not gonna find it from, uh, say, coffee, okay. But you want something uh, clean, refreshing, you know, something different, okay. Wash. I mean, say does great job, all right. And uh, you know, say does pretty good job there. So it all depends on what you guys want. But yeah, this is a clean coffee. Again, okay, uh, comes to brewing method. I'm telling you. All right, that this is kind of like dirty little secret in coffee community. Okay, uh, I don't consider myself an insider. You know, I'm pretty much outside looking, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm in a way I'm kind of like insider. All right, but the thing is, they need to come up with a new brewer. Okay, it's always innovate. Okay, uh, V60, V60, it's been out for a long time. Okay, the Hario. V60, a classic brew. Uh, this brewer, you know, won multiple, multiple brewer, uh, I mean, brewer's championship, you know, over the years. Fantastic. So what they do is this company take this basic design, okay, it's been proven, and then start tweaking it, all right? Is that they start tweaking it, okay? And so like, let's say Oria, uh, they come out, uh, so they did not come out the flat bottom, the Kalita come up the, uh, I, I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I think Kalita, Kalita come up the uh, flat bottom paper, okay? After Kalita, we got, uh, 
is it Aurea after that? But a few other companies, okay? And then we've got April, all right? We've got April. Uh, uh, we have uh, the latest one is the St. Anthony uh, industry come up with the F40. The 40 is a 40 degree angle there as well. So people, a lot of companies uh, come up with a different, kind of inspired by, you know, one design, right? And they start tweaking it, okay? And come up with the best brew, okay? You know, you know work, you know, better than, you know, last brewer. So right now, uh, what, so Oria is pretty hot, okay? I, have, I think a lot of influencers are pushing it right now. Okay, well, they, uh, they come up with an interesting design as well. They even come up with negotiator, okay? So, we have quite a bit, okay, we have quite a bit. So, I mean, you have to, I mean, you have to ask yourself, do you like collecting things? Okay, you, you like collecting the brewers are trying to find, you know, better brewing method? I mean, if you are that person, all right, if you are that person, let me know, okay? Let me know in the live chat, okay? We got a few people watching right now. All right, make sure, don't forget the thumbs up. Okay, let me know if you are a brewer's collector. Okay, if you collect brewers. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your uh, live chat going here. We have a uh, coffee cup just joining us. All right, we have a, uh, hold on a second here. Somebody's speaking something. Hold on, so, uh, uh, cha, I, uh, I cannot say that, uh, how to, Say that name, flat bottom, which, okay. Orens coming on as well. We got Orens. Let's see, Juris. Juris is happy with the Brewster, okay. Conical, Stag X, that's good. No plastic. JD has a three. Okay. D Hall said, I only collect a, uh, a few very nice brewers. Okay. A coffee cup, I collect brewers. Yes. John said two or three. What do you mean two or three? You have three or two. Okay. All right, we have a DJ has the V60 good classic, Oria is good, Chemex that's perfect. Okay, James James is a true collector right there. We have a 15, 15. Man, you're gonna use that for every single day. Okay, for the uh, next 15 days you can switch it. All right, we have a Fries. Fries said I give myself one cabinet anything that doesn't fit. See. I mean, that is a great method, okay? I mean, yes, I mean, that is perfect, okay? I, I think that's what you should do, all right? Just dedicate one space. You have to bring something in. You have to something going out, okay? Give it to somebody, okay? In and out, okay? Uh, Brew by Jay uh, has a few drippers. I think Jay has, uh, I think Jay has uh, his brewers down, okay? I think Jay likes to use uh, Oreo. Coffee cup, about 70 here. You know what? Funny thing is, I believe him. Okay, I believe coffee cup. Okay, coffee cup has 70, yeah. I mean, it's not, it gets, out, it gets out of hand quick, okay? I mean, if you don't careful, all right? And uh, Dylan say, I give myself my whole house, yeah. D. Hall say, you can hang on a lot of drippers on the rack. Yes, you can, yep. But the real question is, I mean that, okay, so, so there's a there's difference between you have to collect good brewers versus you just, just collect things, just sake of collect things, all right? A uh, long time ago, I was watching uh, James Hoffman's video, okay? And uh, he doesn't collect things, all right? And that's the reason why he doesn't take uh, uh, he actually buys everything from me. Uh, so he, he got money from his Patreon. He go out there, he buys it. And then after that, he use it, you know, whatever. And, and then after that, he gives away. Okay. I mean, I think that's what he does on his Patreon page. Okay. And, but, you know, that, that's why, I mean, for myself right now, you know, I do have, the reason why I do have some few, uh, few items here, because, you know, the fact is, you know, I go, I make videos every single day. Okay, and they're nice to just switch out, but yeah. I mean, I think a, a lot of YouTubers does different things, but, but in this channel, I do a lot more um, since I go daily, but I know some YouTubers maybe go, you know, go make video once a week. So it's, it's all different in how you are going to, you know, 
how to do the uh, presentation on it. Okay. Okay, Jay say once you have Aurea or V60, you don't need anything else. Uh, I think I beg to differ, Jay. Okay. All right. There's a you know there's I, I beg to differ. All right. Because you you want something different, right? You want something variety. I mean, don't get me wrong. V6. You. I mean, if you're gonna pick one brewer, okay. If I, I if I need to buy one, if you're a beginner right now, if you're a beginner, if you wanna buy one brewer. Uh, uh, go with the uh, V60, okay, six bucks on Amazon. That's it, cheap. Okay, I mean, that's all you need. Uh, paper costs you 10 bucks. So 100 paper costs you $10, V60 costs you, get the plastic one for six bucks. And then get a, a nice, get a hand grinder, okay, don't go cheap. Okay, spend about 100 bucks on decent grinder there, hand grinder. Now you have set up, uh, comes to kettle, just buy like, you know, 15, 20 dollar gooseneck kettle from Amazon. Now you have the uh, pour over setup, the basic one, that's all you need, okay? And then uh, stay with good coffee, all right? Spend money on the coffee, but that's all you need. And then, uh, but once you start playing with it, man, that's the thing about uh, start brewing, because you always want something different, all right? And then now, uh, hopefully, uh, someone. So I'm using my iPhone right now. So hopefully, I don't I don't lose the sound. My okay, good. My sound is still there. So okay, hold on. So, so James say I ordered the MK Dripper the other day. Man, James, good for you, buddy. The MK Dripper. Okay. So now we have a, a V60, right? Now we have nice V60. And the people like James wants to treat, you know, treat himself by uh, ordering MK Dripper. Okay, if you don't know what MK Dripper is, well, let me show you. Okay. Here is a so here is an MK Dripper. This beautiful ceramic MK Dripper. This is a handmade. All right. And uh, James, you can actually get this one too. You can just uh, print this, all right? Uh, go share it for the MK Dripper, okay? Uh, I think you might enjoy that as well, okay? Um, this is a nice match. And uh, if you have, and then, uh, goodness, there is a mellow drip lift. If you don't know what this is, oops. so this one fit right, it's kind of like mellow drip. Fit right into your mellow drip and then having a mellow drip, all right? And it works pretty good, okay? If you want to have very gentle, the rain shower coming down, yeah. So this one is interchangeable. So this one is for my Oreo. So this one is my, my MK dripper, okay? Just fit right in, right in the middle. All right. So you see, I mean, you are start seeing things, okay? They have a lot of stuff out there. Okay, I mean V60 simple brewer. Once you're getting into the uh, pro over as your hobby, there's no end. Okay, there's no limit to it. All right, because people always come up with something interesting to add it on. Okay, the all add on all the upgrades. So this brewer not only so this is about eighty bucks. Okay, hey May. This is about what, $20, $30. Uh, if you, if you want to actually buy one, maybe 15 bucks, 15 bucks from Etsy, okay? Manual drip lift, another what, 20 bucks, 30 bucks there. So become, so this set is, set is about 150 bucks. All right, 150 bucks. Beautiful set, okay? Beautiful, can't beat it. But again, if you're a hobbyist, makes sense, okay? If you're a coffee hobbyist, is a spending, you know, hundred two hundred dollars on your coffee bar setup but if you are beginners right now I mean it's about 50 people watching okay 50 people watching and if you you want to just make some good coffee go with the v60 all right you're gonna spend about what 20 bucks and you don't have to uh, get the gooseneck kettle all right highly recommended cost you 10 20 bucks that's all don't go too fancy in the beginning Okay, 
and uh, get yourself a decent hand grinder. Again, get a decent hand grinder. That's all. That's all you need. All right. Uh, Easy Press makes pretty, uh, pretty good decent grinder. There about it's called Q2, and uh, they're pretty nice. Uh, they're uh, 70 bucks, I think, 75 bucks. Yeah. So you know, I mean, don't go too crazy. But once you start using it, now you're enjoying it. Okay. Now you need to start asking yourself okay, how much I want to spend money on that coffee as my hobby. All right. Okay. Hold on a second. We have a uh, Java. Yep. Okay. JD Oreo update V3 is okay. JD say something. Brew by J say I'm not I'm not a fan of Oreo unless it's, okay. Here we go. So J is uh, flexing his muscle there. All right. So J is not a big fan of Oreo unless he's using the Sivers paper. All right. Okay, so Sivers paper. Uh, if you don't know what Sivers paper is, hold on a second. Hold on, I do have a Sivers paper. So Jay's talking about this paper right here, Sivers. This, uh, this paper is uh, extremely fast and so clean, all right? I only use that for special occasion. Okay, I only use that for special occasion. All right, if I have like special BIF comes in my office, I use this because they are so expensive. Okay, very expensive. All right, unless if you are J. All right, unless if you are J. Yeah. All right. Yeah, CT grind. Yeah, CT grinder is good. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, C2 uh, from Easy Presser. Is that C2 from Timer or Easy Presser? I think a Q2. I think a C2 is from uh, Timer, I think. Yeah. Uh, John asked anyone using the metal drip. Oh, again, the metal drip is another add-on, okay? And that's the part of, yeah, I mean, yeah, timer C, uh, C2, now it's a C3 now. They are, they are fantastic as well. The Q2, okay? Q2 is an easy press. So Q2 is good, okay? Uh, I don't mind. Uh, Q2 is fine. The C2 from timers are great as well. So, I mean, it's all, uh, they're all under uh, $100 range, okay? So they're fine. All right. Okay, uh, the paper does make a uh, big difference. Okay, so paper make a big difference in coffee taste. That's power of it, all right? Coffee makes difference, the technique makes difference as well, and also water quality makes a big difference too, okay? All right, so if I'm gonna choose uh, two out of three, right? So we have a water quality, paper, and grinder. I think I, I go with the water quality and a grinder. Okay, over paper, because the paper, uh, it's going to be add-on. Uh, Sibers paper is about, what, 50 cents per, uh, per cup. Okay, let's put it down, the 50 cents, unless you buy a lot. So, I mean, that's kind of like, but making better, good water quality, I mean, you can go with, let's say, I know Jay does it, is buy, uh, buy the third way water, one pack, cut that in half, so it's going to last you for a long time. Or you can make your own, own water as well. But if you have your decent grinder, good grinder, you're going to have for pretty much a lifetime. All right. Okay, so cha somebody. I, I, I just want a GP6 with a magnetic catch cup. You know what? I'm not a, the magnetic catch cup is nice. Okay, I have that on my K+, Plus, but the screw on is, I mean, I'm, I'm fine either way. But I know some people prefer magnetic, but I don't know. Yeah. The Nexus, say, uh, the Nexus, let's say, for water crystal geyser. Yeah, crystal geyser is fine. Okay, there are uh, spring water. Uh, make sure to watch the where it's come from as well. I guess a different mountain range has a different flavor. That's what I heard last time. So let's see here. Let's see. I think we are mocha pot or filter coffee. I think I, I think I prefer filter coffee because it's cleaner taste. But if I'm doing the like classic Italian style dark dark roast, I prefer mocha pot. Okay, mocha pot give you that you know dark chocolate tasting notes. Okay, and the MGSA, yes, I must stop using distilled water or yeah, I mean yeah, yeah you don't want to use distilled water. Okay, you do not want to use your distilled water. Uh, when is your next Bravo videos? Oh, we, uh, we can do it any morning, Elaine. Yeah, yeah let's do that maybe like tomorrow morning. Uh, let's uh, go back to our route. Uh, play with the Breadstar Express uh, sitting right over there. So let's do that. 
All right. Jury said, do you recommend SS, this SPHU? H for filter and light rose espresso. You know what? HU is uh, very uh, diverse. Not, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, they're very uh, handle. You know, they handles filter coffee well, okay? Espresso extremely well, all right? So, so that's why they're kind of like multi purpose in a way. Uh, they're, I mean, they're good, okay? They're fine. Yeah, so I think uh, if you are into classic style espresso, HE versions are fine. But if you want something cleaner taste, I know the lap suite, uh, they finally have 83 millimeter lap suite birds uh, from SSP now. So but the stock birds are not bad either. All right. If you don't want to spend additional, what, 300 bucks on birds. So we have an atomic, atomic roaster. Do you still have a timer or 68? Yes. Uh, my grinder is sitting right behind, not here, but the other room. So yeah, uh, I should bring it up uh, next couple of days. I love to try the 078. Okay, 078, they're brewers. I heard so many great things about it. All right, uh, yeah, I heard some fantastic review on 078. Uh, 078S, that's the espresso focused. I mean, I'm not that crazy about the espresso focus lately. You know, I'm more interested in uh, filter, all right, something different, something unique, birds. All right, I think we are, we've been talking for about almost 40 minutes now. Hold on, Co uh, coffee co, EK43, do you prefer pre-2015 birds, newer birds? Uh, okay, so this one has a SSP pre-2015 birds in it, okay, and the I mean, I heard, okay, but I have not used anything else before. So I use the stock birds, all right? So I use the stock, uh, the newer uh, EK43, and I use that for a while, and I switched to the SSP 2015, pre-2015. I prefer uh, 2015 is, uh, pre-2015 has a more clean, cleaner taste, for sure, all right? Okay, Jory say, I have the Pietro, Pietro, for, uh, that's the Lance's uh, coffee. Oh, good. I think the buy, I will buy the 83HU. Huh, Jory, so do you like the Pietro? Let me know, okay. Sounds like Jory's like the Pietro there. Okay, Penguin. Waiting for my 078S, yep, uh, that's pretty good. Turbo boards, put them later, excellent. Yeah, good. Clearly, okay, so these hand grinders are just getting out of control, right? With the GP6, it's very clean as well. Uh, Jury says it's better than C40. Uh, C40 from Commandante. Uh, Commandante has been pretty quiet lately, okay? If you have to, they haven't done much. Commandante used to be the gold standard. Now, goodness, we got uh, so many new hand grinders coming up. Timer, we have uh, Easy Presser. We have a Pietro, Pietro, and also they got, I mean, they got many, many more hand grinders coming up. So, I mean, it's, it's, so it's no, I mean, I feel like the Commandante is no longer the, you know, top, okay? Trying, everybody trying to knock them down right now. So, I mean, this is good, okay? This is good. The Kevinator just picked up the dual boiler for Father's Day. Good, fantastic, buddy. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so I think, yeah, again, the timers say they're going to ship out by July, right? Yeah, hopefully, you know, you're going to get a buy by next month for sure. But they sold a lot of grinder, okay? We're not talking about, you know, we, we, you know we're not talking about hundreds. They are sold thousands of them, thousands and thousands. So uh, if you're trying to go there and buy right now, you're looking at, what, 450 bucks, $100 more than before. So they're 450 for 64 millimeter. Okay, 450 bucks. I mean, that's still a good price, if you ask me. Okay. Matthew has a question. Hold on. I have an easy press on Max. Love it. Okay, love the, okay, pull over. I think, I think I get a Commandante. No, no, don't get the Commandante, buddy. You're good. All right. Okay, so K, uh, easy press, so J Max. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Yeah, let me just. I mean, if you want to get one, okay, if you want to get one, 
uh, good with like uh, GP6. Okay, they're a little cheaper. I think GP6 is uh, under 200 bucks there, like 190 or so 195. Go with the GP6 for your uh, filter coffee. Okay, that's why my recommendation. They're cheaper and also they're cleaner taste than uh, Commandante, GP6. I think they are se uh, selling it now at their websites. Okay, uh, Leonardo said, this is on my channel, really enjoying it, acquiring my first espresso setup. Okay, so here, here's the thing about the, your first coffee machine, okay? I mean, if you, don't mind, uh, if you don't mind spending a lot of money, just get the setup you want, all right? It's going to set you back about two, three grand. But if a money is an issue, go with the Express or Pro. Okay, that's my recommendation, Express or Pro. That sets you back, you know, under, under grand, okay, for, you know, because you have to buy a lot of tempers and tools anyway, temping mats, all that stuff. So it's going to set you back under a thousand. So, yeah, I mean, if a money, is, money is not an issue, okay, just get whatever, all right? Money is an issue for your first machine, Express or Pro, okay? I mean, I do enjoy the product, all right? I have plenty of videos on that as well. Okay, the MGSA, want to give my uh, parents x but they... That's the thing about the coffee machines, right? You know, I, I bet your parents, you know, doesn't want to change their coffee routine. I mean, it is a lot of step, all right? The, and, you know, I mean, it's a lot of step, even though they're very simple, but yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Leonardo, Matt, so, so uh, get a, yeah, GP6, I mean, GP6 is a really nice grinder for filter coffee, okay? Or you can go to uh, Pitro, all right? But I mean, I feel like GP6 has better workflow, all right? So yeah, JMX is fine if you wanna do, you know, espresso, yeah. But again, it's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna improve your coffee that much because Commandante sets back about over 300 bucks. <clears throat> it is pricey. Okay, hold on. Coffee Cope say, gave you four in one touch down. Load <clears throat> the load for my, ma uh, my mom, maybe I would like that one. Okay. Shout out to Joe. Joe. If you have any question about all the DF stuff, ask Joe. Okay, Joe's on the live chat right now. Joe is the owner of Espresso Outlet. Uh, he supplies me with a fantastic grinder over the years. Okay, here, here's to you, Joe. I'm still waiting for the the lap with 83 mil, buddy. And also, I'm still waiting for your DF64V. Okay, I'm still waiting for that as well. All right. I'm just gonna sh shut out there. All right, hold on a second here. Uh, Juris said, Juris, the picture workflow is not, not so great. Okay, the clear is very high. Okay, and uh, okay, Joe said he sent me the V already. Thanks, Joe, you're, you're awesome. Uh, body not too thin. Okay, here's the thing about the workflow. Uh, workflow matters. Okay, workflow matters in your coffee because because you want to, you want to use it, you know, you want to be enjoyable to use your coffee grinder, all right? And then, yes, if the end result is a fantastic, coffee tastes great, but again, but you want to find a grinder that fit into your life, okay, fit into your lifestyle, your workflow. I mean, it does matter, you know, I have to say, all right? Because you, because you want to have fun, okay? You want to have fun you know, fun to using it. So just make sure, do your research, okay? Do not fall into that trap by watching a lot of videos, all right? A lot of videos by these YouTubers out there, they're highly edited, okay? I have to say, they're highly edited, all right? I mean, I mean if you want to see something, yeah, uh, look at my old, old videos, okay? Look at my older videos. Mine is all live streaming, so you're not going to miss anything because, I mean, I know, I know a lot of you, buying something, watch something on Instagram or YouTube, you think it's a great fit for your life, your, your workflow. You may, you may not, so again, do your research. All right. Uh, Fry is asking me, hold on a second, Hungry, pen, uh, hungry Penguin, appliance. Uh, appliance win out cause most people don't, yeah, don't want to extra function, I think it is extra function there. 
uh, Fries asked me about the Enjoy the Stack X, the gooseneck kettle from Stack. You know what? Here's the thing. If you are into pour over coffee, if you want to control it, the flow, uh, this is very slow, okay? Very slow pour, all right? So if you are doing, you know, if you want to do slow pour, uh, Stack is fantastic because it has a flow control on the bottom, all right? And then with like Brista kettle, that doesn't have a, a, a flow control on the bottom. So, I mean, if you can go really hard, all right? You can go really hard. So, it's, I mean, depend on the, what kind of coffee you want to make, but either way, uh, I, I'm going to go back to, hold on a second here, fries. Uh, expensive kettle, okay? Doesn't matter which way you're going to slice it, that is expensive kettle. Okay. You're spending 150 bucks on kettle there. If you go to Amazon right now, okay, you can get a, a nice kettle for 30, 40 bucks, electric kettle. It's not a fellow, all right, but there are nice kettle for 30, 40 bucks. So, so when do you decide, okay, when do you decide you are going to buy really fancy kettle versus, you know, you know, functional kettle, right? You, you, you want to go for the function, you want to go for the function and aesthetic, all right? So, I mean, you have to decide some point in your coffee, uh, you know, hobby, okay? And uh, you're going to know, all right? It's because all your friends has a nice fellow stock kettle at home. If you're still using the old kettle, okay? Kind of like pure pressure, right? You know, pure pressure there. So, I mean, you know, you, you know the time, okay? And, and, th and then you are going to decide. Uh, you are going to spend money on kettle. Okay. JD say I stick with my old uh, trusty. Yeah, Bonavita is great too. Okay. The Bonavita is a pretty much the same as a Brewster kettle. All right. And the same, very similar design. So, I mean, they're good. They're still under 100 bucks. Yeah. All right. I think uh, Jiro Wushi. Uh, Jiro Wushi makes an awesome rice cooker. Okay, for sure. Uh, okay. We, MGS says uh, we have a Simplex. Yeah. Big breath. Hold on. Simplex copper kettle. Stove top, that's great. I, I love stove top kettle. All right. Okay. Uh, no, any good milk froth jug? There is none. There's no magic to getting a good milk froth. Okay. Uh, just a practice. All right. Doesn't really, uh, doesn't matter if you spend hundred bucks on your uh, milk jug or if you spend ten dollars on milk jug. It's all, all about the technique. Okay. It's all about the technique. So yeah. Uh, just whatever jug you have, just, you know, practice it. Takes a long time, okay? It takes a long time. So don't worry about the latte art. Just focus on the, just make sure you get the nice fluffy milk or, you know, nice silky milk, okay? All right, we have a shout out to Mr. Rainbow. Just got home from somewhere. Yeah. A shout out to uh, Mr. Rainbow, big spender. Yeah. He's my number one supporter in this channel there. Okay, shout out to Mr. Rainbow. JD, okay. Okay, Nanoformer Subminimal is okay, but the, the newer one, the Nanoformer number two, second gen is pretty cool. Okay, I saw on the YouTube the other day. You, can, you don't have to press the button anymore. You just press the button, just stay on. They are, uh, they are fantastic. Okay, I think. What else? I think we are pretty, again, if you're first time joining us, I mean, this is what we do every single day. All right, in the beginning, we just brew some coffee in the morning, you know, just brew, brew coffee in the beginning. And after that, we just kind of like BS for next 30, 40 minutes. Just hang out there. All right. And then we just talk about coffee here. Uh, Rain just walk in as well. Again, it's about 48 people right now. You know, again, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound like a lot of people. All right, 48 people. But imagine if you have 48 people, at your house, okay, your kitchen, all right, having a conversation. I mean, this, I mean, that's pretty cool, okay, I have to say, okay, I think we have a, about good, you know, about good, about 1,000 to 2,000 core coffee community in my channel, okay, I have to say, even though I have a large number of subscribers, but, I mean, that, that, that's just the subscriber counts, but I think I have about good one to 2,000 really core uh, coffee community here so yeah i'm glad uh, i'm glad okay 
And then DJ said, uh, it's the coffee cooler. Yeah, that's it. I mean, this is uh, actually, we just, if, if you hang out somewhere at the coffee bar, if you met somebody, we just talk about coffee. We talk about the coffee gears and, you know, coffee gadgets, coffee tools, you know. Again, the great thing about my setup right now, okay, I mean, I do have some gear on the back. Okay, I got some couple of grinders on the back. We can actually play with, and then I can share my thoughts with you guys okay, every single day. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. I know some of you are early morning and late evening. So I'm going to see you guys. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Hungry Pengu got the... Uh, Nano former pro that's fantastic. Okay, that's fantastic there uh, Maybe uh, VR one day No, I like simple technology guys. Okay. I like simple because even though I own a computer shop here I mean I want something simple. All right Okay, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow